Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm Linda Mariano, Managing Director of Marketing for Redwood Art Group. And I'm joined here today by Pejman Mohammadi. And Pejman is a wonderful, award-winning artist that I first met um, this year at Art Expo New York. And I'm so intrigued by his artwork. Um, and I think you will be too. But first, Pejman, thanks for joining. So great to see you. Very great to see you too, Ms. Linda. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. So, you know, let's just start with, um, tell us a little bit about when and how you decided to make art your career. Sure. So um, I've been painting since 1995, but um, I started painting full time this last September. Um, being a father of 11 years old, um, you know, the future of next generation is very important to me. And uh, my daughter being a very um, focused um, environmental, act, you know, individual, Mm -hmm. um, she's gathering plastic and trying to recycle just about anything. So this last September, I decided to team up with her and um, try to work as much as I can with recycled product in form of art. And um, that's how everything started. Um, I um, um, was lucky enough to get to know you and... Um, Redwood Art Group and, um, you know, started my first exhibition back in April and, um, and the rest of it is history. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's one of the most intriguing parts about your work is that you're really incorporating, and, and I think that that's one of the things um, that the audience really needs to understand, not just that you're using environmentally um, correct products to create the work, but you're actually recycling things and incorporating them into really what would be classified as a mixed media um, piece of artwork um, in some very interesting and, and compelling um, ways. So I think we already have kind of a little bit of a window into your um, work philosophy, but really when it gets down to creating the artwork, um, what is your work philosophy and how, how does that impact your work or what you do day to day? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, part, part of my timeline um was living in Japan. Um, part of it was living in Austria, Vienna. Uh, you know, living in those two countries um, uh, formed me to pay close attention to um, nature and art and recognizing art and um, paying attention to environment around me. Um, so that that was, you know, who I was and who I am. And really what it, it started with those two experiences I had earlier in life. Um, and really the rest of it is as an environmentally conscious individual, I try to um, recycle as much as I can in my case. Um, you know, I do believe there is a bridge between creativity and sustainability and I can form plastic um, and create art and deliver that to my audience. That's great. So think about <clears throat> people that you've talked to and people that you know, or people that you've read about, whether they're artists or whatever, what's the best advice that you've ever gotten and how has that impacted your success? <laughs> Best advice I, I received was really from you and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know, I, I was, um, it was important for me to um, come to um, a, an art fair and um, present myself. I wasn't expecting anything out of that experience. I just wanted to know where I am um, in um, art society. Um, and, and really uh, listening to your advice and listening to Eric, um, you know, everything that Eric told me about price point and how to um, deliver myself in front of the visitors in fair really helped me listening to you as far as the marketing piece and how to put my boot together and how to curate my um, 10 pieces in my boot really helped me um, to um, showcase each piece at the right time and have enough space to um, explain the piece to the audience at the right time. Um, so I would say the, the best advice I received was really from you and Eric. Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah. I, didn't ex I didn't expect that. Um, <clears throat> so what do you do to market yourself and your art? Um, I, I, uh, I leverage Instagram daily. So I, I share my work and um, uh, my daily uh, work process in Instagram. Um, I try to get out there as much as I can, join art events as much as I can, go to art galleries as much as I can, see art and speak to people, um, and really to create uh, connections and relationships. You know, I think that that's something that um, is so important. And, and even um, what you said about um, being at Art Expo New York, um, being at art events, that that whole piece of networking. You know, when, sometimes when you come to an art fair, especially when um, maybe it's the first time you've exhibited at a particular event, like one of our fairs, or even um, like your pieces that are going to be going with the gallery to the Hamptons, um, it's first time that the work is being shown, the work is being seen by that audience. And so you might not, you know, you might not um, sell anything, but it's the networking, it's the creating the connections. And you just never know where any of that's gonna lead, whether it's talking to another artist, um, a gallery, um, a collector, me, Eric, whomever it might be, and those connections, you know, start to build one on the other. And that's really how you start to establish yourself um, with with a base um, and as a as a career artist, because you take all of those connections um, into account because you, you don't know where one of those connections might lead you. You're absolutely right. I think that's important. Yeah. So what thinking about that, what what has been your greatest success in terms of building your career and your client base? So I mean, um I again I, I think um it's been only nine, ten months that I started full time. I would say my greatest success was really New York Art Expo. Um, I, I got there with um, 10 pieces. Um, I was not expecting anything. I just wanted to see where I am. Um, but I did listen to all of the small tips that um, I, I, I saw on last year video or I spoke with you or I spoke with Eric, um, just the small things hey, stand up in front of your boots. That really um, captured everybody's attention and draw them toward me. And I was able to talk to every single person. And that created a lot of conversations uh, and just, you know, opened up doors in all different aspects. Um, in, in the fair, I was able to sell three of my works three of my pieces out of 10 pieces that I presented. Uh, but like you mentioned, everything came after uh, and based on all of the connections that I gathered, um, I got 
commissions after commissions, uh, two weeks after, four weeks after. And um, it, it was just a joy for me to um, be able to um, listen and execute what you uh, told me and what Eric said to me. And, and, and it worked. And it was um, even my Instagram account, I, I think I started with 250, 260 followers when I was in New York Art Expo. And when you and I talked, you said, well, make sure you create those QR codes and put at the beginning of your boots. And um, I did that. And now I'm up to 750 something. So I would say all of these small things are, you know, they might be small, but it, it was a big, big victory for me as a beginner. Um, and, and I think um, those are the things that really works. And I, I try to stick to those things. Um, next time over and over. Well, you know, and I think that, that what you're really talking about is building blocks, mm -hmm. right? It's it's kind of like, let you know, and, and because you're um, fairly new at this, what I want to do is I'm going to check back with you like in a year and see what's, see where, see what's happened then. Um, but, but I think it's like building a foundation mm -hmm. and um, whether, you know, no matter what you're building, if you're building a house, you're building a career, you you have to have the foundation there that then you can stand on that foundation and and it and it's solid ground. So um just one more question. Sure. Uh, any particular advice as an emerging artist that you would give an aspiring artist? Yeah. Uh, well, I would say um, be honest to yourself and be consistent. Um, do what you're doing day after day. Um, get out there. Um, build relationship. I think that's the most important piece of the puzzle. And, um, you know, not only that, maintaining that relationship is very important, meaning that uh, whether you gather phone number or email address, uh, reaching out to those clients and um, individuals um, when you have um, events um, coming up um, and, and um, you know, enjoy the ride. I think um, not stressing um, ourselves and uh, being able to enjoy the experience um, set the tone and set the mood for, uh, at least for me, um, because I think everything starts with the attitude when the attitude is right and um, the attitude is out there um, that creates a positive vibe and um, that captures attention. I think that's very important. And I saw that in um, New York Art Expo. Um, so that would be my two cents. Well, thank you. You know, and I do think that that's really important. And I think that that's one of the things that has um, attracted, um, you know, your success to you is that, you know, if you if you are enjoying what you're doing um, and you have a positive attitude, sure, it can be scary. I mean, you've decided to make this your career. So there's this there's a scary part right there. Um, so, you know, and with a family and livelihood and all the things, um, and the expenses that, you know, just takes to, to be, um, that's, that's challenging, but I think you're meeting the challenge and congratulations. Um, yeah. you know, it's been great talking to you today and Thank you so I'll, much. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you in Miami, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Me too. Yeah. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you.